so I have the recap of what happened. We just beat Melanie and Sonia takes up for a little victory date with Hop. And after we ate a yummy meal, Hop wants to battle. Of course. The first is double and abomination is first. Low kick does about half any defense curled. Twice. He never actually tried to hurt me, so next is Cinderace and Abomination is still in since it quads his fire. As soon as I saw how little damage Ancient Power did, I swapped to Bond. James Bond. He landed a crit mecha kick. That's illegal. Hop. And Scald took it out before it landed another BS low accuracy crit. Onion Turtle versus Pin Curtain and he immediately paralyzed me with Spark and Seed Bomb, took it to low health, and Hop used the Hyper Potion. About 10,000 years later, he goes down. Next is Corviknight and Gecko's Discharge one-shot it. Abomination versus Hop's final Pokemon, Snorlax. And Snorlax being as thick and heavy and big as he is, Low Kick was obviously the end for Snorlax. And so, we win the battle. Next route has Team Yellow Grunts yelling at a Dreadnought for some reason, and we fight them. Yeah, I bet you can guess what happened to them. Now my bike can go on water, so I use it to get to the next town of Spike Month. Moni tells me a shortcut and tries to beat me in a battle. Keyword, tries. <laughs> this battle taught me something though. If I can't deal tons of damage really fast, they can take me down easily. Yeah, Lionpod went down from, in one hit from Lily, but keeping Lily in for Toxicook was a big mistake. I never remember the type of this thing. Well, I keep thinking it's a poison fighting type. And it's not, and it takes out Lily after we fail to do even half damage. My Reptile vs. Her Reptile, Gecko vs. Toxicroak, and Discharge took it out. Abomination's low kick did nothing to Scrafty. So to make a long story short, I tried to sweep the rest of Moni's team with Bond until my Kapeka took it out with an electric move. Oh yeah, this thing's a Pikachu clone, so it's an electric type. I don't know how I forgot that. Ninja Turtle finishes the battle for me, so of course, we swept, easily swept our way through the Team Yellow Grunts in the gym, and it's time for the Spike Month Gym Leader Pure, the first ever Dark type Gym Leader. In 10 years, that sentence will be outdated. Pure's time, and he, yes, he, always thought that scale as a girl for some reason, probably the hair, leads with Scrafty, and Dazzling Gleam, one shot. Next is Malamar, who took two Dazzling Gleams to take down. Next is Ostragoon, and it annoyingly used Abstract the first turn, so two Dazzling Gleams and did. Technically three. Now it's just Skunk Tank, and Spam Sunkers Punch instead of Toxic, so I have a BS crit. Third Chop forced me to swap to Meowstic, who won the battle for me. We exit Spike Mud, and the ground starts shaking, but Neon tells me to keep my eyes on the prize and fight Rehan. The ground is shaking, but... Leon, I am afraid of my safety. I started grinding, and look at this battle. This Archeops actually beat me for two reasons. One, I can't deal enough damage, and two, I am teamed up with people who only make incredibly stupid decisions. <laughs> Before the battle, I replace assurance with Thief, and then battle Rayhan. He uses the Giglet and Flygon, so since it's a double battle, I lead with Lily and Abomination. Dazzling Gleam on Flygon barely doesn't kill. What the hell is going on? Low Kick doesn't kill Giglet, so we do it again and we win. <laughs> next is that one tower next to Y as a Pokemon and a Snack. And Ice Beam took out the Snack, and Max Quake did less than half. Max Spikes took out. Lily and raised its defense, and I swap in Neostic. I don't know if it's why, but for some reason, I still use physical moves. G-Max Depletion didn't kill Neostic, thankfully, and I used my not-resisted steel move, that is also a special move, and killed it. Weirdly how he didn't attack the one Pokemon that could have killed him. We take the train in one den and fight Moni in the stadium. She leaves with the light pod and it used Torment and Dazzling Gleam one shot it. Abomination is out and one shot talks quick with Earthquake. Lily is no longer subjected to Torment, so I take it out and sweep the rest of her team with Fairy Moves. 
That was easy. Hop time, and he's really determined to beat me, as his dream is to beat his brother, so... Of course, I plan to crush those dreams, like a real friend. First is double, and much like last time, gets two shots uh, by low kick, but it doesn't defense kill. Next is Snorlax, and it would have been a two shot, but then he heals, so it takes him three hits. Pincurchin is one shot by Earthquake, a discharge from Gecko takes out Corviknight, and last is Cinderace versus Bond, and a G-Max Hydra Snipe one shot it. The hop streams of beating his brother are no more. I get put on TV without my permission, play hide and seek with an evil Ma Marco Cosmos Glint, storm through Rose Tower that was a lot easier than what I did with Waltz, and we battle Mrs. Anger Issues, and who is also obsessed with Chairman Rose, Marco Cosmo Oleana. She lives with a frost blast that burns me. Ancient power, two shots hit, and Salazzle, who for some reason knows Dragon Breath, falls to a quad super effective earthquake. Gekka vs. Zarina, and Poison Jab, one shot hit. Melotic? Mil Melotic? Melotic? I don't know, my brother pronounces it Melotic, and <laughs> it's just sticking to me for some reason. Melotic? Didn't die from a discharge and barely didn't. Why is this happening to me? The dumb sea serpent used arc rolling though, so it died on the next turn. Last is Garboda, with a burn, halving my attack made my attack do way less than I like. G Max Melador didn't do much and it can't poison me because I'm already burned. My second max quick did more because of its ability weak armor lowering its defense but raising its speed. Funny how I didn't win because of hail damage, or my own damage, because I didn't actually use Lily at all. I won from sandstorm damage that came from her max rockfall. She literally lost the battle because of her own weather effect. That's incredible. We start the final super side. Who gets to battle Leon? But first, Beat interrupts everything to challenge me to a battle. First is my while, and I completely forgot about this so I had uninterrupted heat. So I switched to Abomination to one shot it with Earthquake. Next is Waifu Gardevoir versus Gecko. And with my experience with Waltz, Psychic does not resist poison. Venoshock one shot it. Cotton Candy Rapidash almost killed me with Psycho Cut, but it felt the same way Gardevoir did. On in total, it's in a low health, so swap it in to deal with Hatchwin and Max Ooze didn't kill. But Max Mindstorm didn't kill and another Max Ooze wins the battle. We finally get to do an actual battle in the finals against Jim Leader Nessa. The reason I wanted to leave with Onion Turtle. Although I didn't actually leave with Onion Turtle, but with Gecko. So remember, Nessa's first Pokemon is a Glycopod, a bug water type, so grass is neutral, and grass is weak to bug, and the bug move, I remember, it has one. Although its bug move can only be used on the first turn in battle, I didn't, it always seems to use it every other time I battle her this time. Discharge, one shot the Glycopod. Bellascuda? Is that how you pronounce that? I have no idea. It's next, and I hardly survive a quad super effective drill run and discharge finishes it. Finally send out Onion Turtle for Seeking to one shot it with Seed Bomb. Next is Pelipper, so I swap to Gecko to one shot it with Discharge as it's quad super effective. Finally, it's Turtle v Turtle in the fight that we had in the last battle with her. This time, my max overgrowth is a G-Max Fine Lash, and this time, I'm able to one-shot the turtle with a quad super effective move, winning the battle. Next is Alistair, and two threat shots kill his first Pokemon, Dusknoir. Dusknoir? Dusknoir? I have no idea. I need to freshen up on my Gen 5 Pokemon names. 
I swap to Bond for Chandelure so that my physical dark move doesn't burn me with the flame body that I think it has. Snapshot ended Chandelure. Poltergeist is left with what has to be only 1 HP. Giga Drain did heal it a bit and did damage me a bit. But even with the Giga Drain heal, I will still use the Forest Door. A better damage roll with Throat Chop took out the Teacup. Kursla came out and immediately died to a crit Throat Chop before it could curse me. Last was Spooky Gengar, and this time Max Darkness just flashed to fit in one hit. Really shows how much stronger my team has gotten throughout this playthrough. After the Alistair battle, I can actually show you, we battle Rayhan, who claims to be Leon's rival. So why was he so easy? Even with it not being a double battle, his first Pokemon is Torkoal, and even though, without lowering the power of my water moves, Torkoal is so bad, it still gets one shot. Also, all his Pokemon, no, Dragon moves, or at least are Dragon type, except Torkoal. This is like how Lance has only three Dragon types, and all of them are Dragonite and Gold and Silver. He also only has one Dragon Pokemon, and let's go. And he's a Dragon type Elite, like elite Four member. And in Hot Gold and Soul Silver, he has three under level Dragonites. <laughs> Why? I used the Leaf for Gudra, but because of how bulky this thing is, Ice Beam couldn't kill it. It then set up rain. Another one took it out. I swap Abomination for a Tornado, and it lives with 1 HP. This keeps happening to me, and it's fucking annoying me. It sets up Sun, because I remember I'm fighting Rayhan, and he uses a full star. But this time, Dragon Pulse takes it out. At least I spin one shot Flygon and Dale Ludon. For some reason, I use Max Whirlwind. Probably because I had a brain for it, and since Max Whirlwind won last time, my brain just jumped to the conclusion that it's super effective. But even though it was neutral, it did tons of damage. It used G Max Depletion and did less, and I finally got smart using Max Quake winning the battle. We now battle Lee. Whoa, what's going on here? Yeah? Jim and Rose is FaceTiming us and telling us that he's destroying all the gems and telling everyone that he's also destroying the region with a legendary Pokemon. So we go to the basement of Hammerlock Stadium to try to tell him that destroying the entire region to save a problem coming when we'll all be dead many times over by summoning a powerful space dragon is probably not a good idea. But he battles us before we can explain it to him. I have to reset once because he got a BS crit. And this battle is a doozy, just like with Waltz. Waltz? <laughs> I said Waltz. <laughs> God, my R's and W's are so bad. <laughs> I used Throat Chop because Bug Steel is an annoying type combo. So it did nothing and Bug moved one shot Meow Stick. Gekko got some good damage, but a quad super effective and he took it out. I didn't even know it had a ground move. I was saving Abomination to easily take it out. I forgot everything I know about type matchups and sent Bond the Inteleon to use water moves on a grass type like an idiot. I used, it used Curse though, so I got a bit more damage and it went down. At least Ice Beam finished it off. Earthquake almost killed of course but his pokemon just screeched and another earthquake killed it one next quake would have taken out clink clang but of course this is my playthrough so i can't one shot anything but it's wild charge recall killed itself that's just lego elephant copper Haja, and max quake doesn't kill max mindstorm does tons of damage but one crit and it's over we witnessed Leon trying to catch a legendary Pokemon and has a base attack total of 690 with a Pokeball. I mean, I caught Kyrex with a Pokeball and Zashi in a Beast Ball. But I had to catch and show him. So, this is unacceptable. Abomination goes down in the first phase, but then he takes it out. 
Oh, but that doesn't matter because it... And just go and turn into us. Uh, the highest they set total Pokemon. And if there's nothing with returns, the dogs we found sleeping outside my house come to help us. Also, this song's a bop. Tanja is aiming for everyone else, but me, so I get the finishing blow on it after a really long battle. Hop tells me to catch it, so I caught up a mirror ball because why not? So, now I have to grind for Leon. Oh, and by the way, we're not allowed to use the Eternatus. And this, this grind took forever. I'm so weak, I can't beat any Dynamax guns. So, I ended up having to grind on Chansey, because her uh, high health gets brought up EXP, and I grind it up to level 80. And that might be a bit overkill, but I'm gonna need it for the frozen time we will be fighting soon. <laughs> wink, wink. We start the battle with Leon, and I switch Thief with Dark Pulse so that when King Shield lowers my attack, it doesn't affect me, because I have, like, the only... The only special dark move in existence. I click Dark Pulse, leaves it with 1 HP. Why is this happening? The save file is cursed. Sacred Sword did almost half. And another Dark Pulse kills it after a full restore. I send Undertale out and I go for that damn quad super effective grasping against my Poperia. And of course it survives and I would throw my controller out the window if it wasn't for the fact that this controller was a gift from my brother and it's the only one with a drift is not horrible. <laughs> Earthquake did almost half, so Peta Blizzard took it out since he didn't heal for some reason. Dragapult is next and it's finally something I can one shot with a super effective move. Lily vs Haxorus and Lily's Ice Beam one shot it giving her the title, Lily the Dragon Slayer. I keep Lily up for Lily Boom, and it's another one shot. Abomination versus the final Pokemon in the game, Leon's Charizard. And a quad super effective, Max Rock for one shot it. Well that was anticlimactic, the game was okay, and I'm glad I could play through most of the IO Farmer without being level 100. <laughs> But playing through this game, that was basically with the standard team, I really loved, I miss playing through games, having a really standard team or something like that, it's really, really fun. I will eventually go back to doing this with Waltz, since this was really fun and I loved it, and I'm definitely looking forward to doing other Pokemon Shield challenges. The only part I didn't like was Barely not killing the opponent with super effective moves. That was really annoying. I beat Pokemon Shield using this really cool team. And I caught none of. Oh, but dear viewer, we still have much to do.